Hi everybody, this is me Abhishek uh, from Ingenitis Consultants. Just wanted to give a quick view on uh, what we feel about the markets and the economy in general. Uh, so as far as the equity market is concerned, uh, we feel that you know the macros of of our country looks pretty good. Uh, there is no problems as far as the macros are concerned. The market is at about uh, 28,300, 400 level today. Uh, so if I talk about uh, the CPI or if I talk about the WPI, it looks under control. Uh, the current account deficit looks under control. The fiscal deficit looks under control. Uh, so that's that's the good part. Uh, that's the good part uh, on the macros. GST has been passed. Uh, that's that's also a good part uh, for the for the Indian economy. So in a in a short to medium run, I don't feel there are any things any triggers that we should see. Uh, as far as the international uh, events are concerned, the Fed rate hike is a problem. There is supposed to be a Fed meeting on, I think, 23rd or 24th of this month uh, in which, uh, you know, uh, it is expected that there might be an increase in uh, increase in Fed rates. Uh, so, you know, when the when recently the market uh, tanked for about uh, 500 points in a day, it was because uh, uh, you know, news came in from uh, from the Fed markets that from the U.S. markets that uh, interest rates might go up, uh, but uh, we generally feel that uh, the Fed rate increase has already been factored in somehow because this Fed rate has been Fed rate hike has been going on for the past I think one and a half years now. Uh, there was speculation that that it might go up around. Uh, around January as well. So I think, uh, you know, these news coming in about the Fed rate hike has uh, has more or less been factored in. If at all a Fed rate hike happens, that might be a, there might be a knee-jerk reaction in the market and the market might fall for a day or two or probably a week, but that's all in short run. Uh, in, in the long run, we feel the markets should do well. So investors investing in for about three to five years or even more than that, uh, about seven to eight years should uh, should get a double digit return uh, from their investments uh, in the market. The, the, the Everything looks good. Uh, Germany data has, you know, just come in. It looks a little, little weak. It has, uh, it has, uh, you know, uh, recorded a a decline in its exports, the largest decline in its in its, uh, in its exports. So that data just came in on the same day when uh, when uh, uh, you know the market tanked about five hundred points. Uh, so Germany, we'll have to look at. Uh, you know, there might be some problems in the economy. Uh, the slowdown can be a cause of concern uh, uh, for the German for the German markets and for the global markets. Uh, crude oil is under control. Don't don't see any any negatives there. So all in all, if I see, uh, you know, uh, the domestic consumption story of India looks good. The macros look good. The, the domestic uh, story of India, Indian equities look good. Uh, there are some international events, just, uh, like just uh, you know, I just pointed out, like probably Germany and. Uh, uh, to some extent the Fed rate hike but you know those will be just knee-jerk reactions in the market uh, probably it will carry on for a week two weeks for about four weeks not more than that in the in a worst case scenario uh, overall we will continue the approach uh, we continue our recommendation to go in a staggered way in the in the Indian markets either through SIPs or STP routes we are not recommending any lump sums at this point of time because we are already at about 28,300 foreign levels. We expect the market to touch 30,000 at least by the end of this financial year uh, if nothing goes wrong from here. Uh, so a staggered way into equity is, is what is recommended uh, from our end uh, as far as the equity markets are concerned. 
as far as the debt markets are concerned uh, we are seeing uh, we see uh, the 10 year gsec uh, yields to be around 7.06 to 7.10 uh, in a long run if i talk about 2 to 3 years down the line we expect these yields to settle somewhere around 6.5 so uh, you know that uh, being done by probably uh, some uh, interest rate cuts uh, by the rbi in the coming in the near future uh so a uh, yields coming down from 7.1 levels to 6.5 will automatically add on to the returns of the debt funds that we are getting so debt we are quite bullish on we are uh we are recommending lump sum investments at this point of time in debt and we are also recommending uh, uh sip investments in debt uh, which is a good strategy at this point of time so in a nutshell if i talk about uh, for sips we are recommending debt as well as uh, equity funds uh, uh, lump sum investments in equity funds only through stps and uh, lump sum in uh, in debt uh, can be seen at uh, so that's in a nutshell of uh, of what we feel about uh, about the economy today about uh, the debt market uh, and the and the equity market uh we can also go for some balanced funds but uh, uh i believe uh, again in balanced funds as well we can go in through stp or uh, through sip routes only so that's in a nutshell of what our uh, view is about the market in september 2016 uh do let us know what you feel about this uh, video blog that we have started uh is it is it uh, helpful for you is it making some difference in your life uh, what exactly do you feel about it we we plan to give you frequent uh, market updates and frequent market uh, and economy related video blogs uh, almost every week do comment and uh, do let us know of uh, what you feel about uh, about all our video blogs and do subscribe to our channel uh to get in uh, more updates uh, about the economy time on on a time to time basis thank you and uh, thank you for listening bye bye take care